What is the mountain of butterflies and nature wonders? Monarch butterflies. The mountain of butterflies, located in central Mexico, is the winter destination for millions of monarch butterflies. The pine forests of the mountains became habitat for millions of monarch butterflies, their migration being localized by scientists on January 9, 1975. The discovery was made after two years of searching the mountains because the migration of these butterflies had always been shrouded in mystery. Why is called the Mountain of Butterflies? The Mountain of Butterflies was named after the monarch butterflies, with their migration and the place where they spent the winter before traveling to the United States and Canada. The Mountain of Butterflies is not a mystery or a place that has recently emerged. He won this title when he was discovered by scientists. Thousands of volunteers and researchers led by Canadian zoology Fred Urquhart have been trying for several years to solve this mystery. The Migration of Monarchies And on the 9th of January 1975, the search that has travelled several decades since the 1930s has led to the final resolution of this mystery and finding the mountain with butterflies at their winter home. The mountain of butterflies was known before 1975. It is believed that the mountain of butterflies was discovered for the first time in 1975. But the monarch butterfly habitat was already known by the Mexican locals before being discovered by scientists. But the people of the place knew nothing about migrating the butterflies of monarchs who sit there between October and March, to be exact, until spring arrives when the weather warms up. Butterflies are considered the souls of the ancestors. The migration of the butterfly monarch in October coincides with the Dia Festival of Los Muertos, the Day Festival of the Dead. For this reason, the monarch butterfly is associated with this festival and the locals believe that they are the soul of the dead ancestors who return every year to visit them. Monarch butterflies dress trees in orange coats and emit pleasant sounds. The monarch butterflies gather together in winter to keep each other warm. They dress the pine trees to hide the green and brown colors, dressing them in an orange coat. When temperatures rise, the monarch butterflies begin to fly by emitting a pleasant sound, which is similar to the sound produced by raindrops when they arrive on Earth. In addition, when flying in large numbers, the monarch butterflies cover the sky. About the monarch butterfly the two pairs of velvety wings, combining intense orange with the game negro, have on the edges a sequence of small white spots, like a noble lace. Because it has a rather large wingspan, even over 10 centimeters, and because its spread is wide, this butterfly was called the monarch, to remind of an English king. In fact, the zoology Carl Linnaeus describes since 1758 the species Danaeus plexippus, in his famous Systema Natural. The differentiation between the male monarch and the female is made easy. After the two black spots on the lower wings of it, which marks the bags with the pheromones eliminated during the courting period. The female has the black lines, pigmentation veins thicker, darker abdomen and slightly shorter wings. As a rule, after mating, eggs are placed on flowering plants of the genus Asclepias. Such as the dog's milk, containing a milky, poisonous liquid, it is composed of chemical substances called cardinalide, from which the future caterpillars will be fed. The toxin is preserved in the butterfly body of later so that it will banish the vertebrae predators birds, lizards, frogs, etc. who would dare to taste bitterness with unpleasant effects, perhaps even deadly. Monarch butterflies meet in North America, but also in Bermuda, Hawaii, Azores, Canary, Western Europe, Australia, New Zealand, India, in quite diversified habitats. What has attracted the attention of researchers since the last few decades has been the migration of these butterflies from the area of the Great Lakes north of the United States and south of Canada, to the center of Mexico, over a long distance, 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers, whose scroll time exceeds long life of insects. How is this unique migration route transmitted over the generations? I'm still looking for a definite scientific response to this question, and maybe he'll come from genetics.
During mating, the air dance of conquest is followed by a hugged fall, when the butterfly's abdomens stay glued up to 60 minutes. Untouched pairs become vulnerable, and tourists must be very careful not to crush them with their step. Depleted of ritual, males die and nourish the forest soil. We decided to make a journey to Mexico and the Monarch Butterfly Reserve. At the end of October, Monarch butterflies living in the east of the Rocky Mountains. Near the Great Lakes and south of them, begin their journey to central Mexico to spend the winter in the pine forests of the mountains here, with heights up to 3,000 meters. In fact, during the summer, several generations of butterflies are born, who live a maximum of two months. But at the end of the season, a final generation emerges, entering the so-called diapause, the period of slowing vital functions, which will allow for a lifetime even seven months. These butterflies fly in wintering areas and only mate in spring, when they start from Mexico back north, to lay their eggs first in the southeast U.S. In this complex cycle, only the third, fourth or fifth generation of butterflies will heal be back in the Great Lakes area at the beginning of summer. The 563 square kilometers of the Biosphere Reserve extends to the east and state of Michoacan and the west of Mexico in the center of the country, just 100 kilometers to the west of the capital. Some of the pine forests and oak trees in eco-region, Trans-Mexican Volcanic Belt, house for five months almost one billion butterflies. Grouped in 14 natural colonies, eight of which are included in the UNESCO-recognized reserve in 2008 as a part of humanity's heritage. Four of the five protected regions open to the public at the end of February. El Rosario is the name of the most popular tourist area, given easy access from the town of Angango. Up to 8,000 tourists a day visit the loaded forests of butterflies, climbing the landscaped paths within 2 to 4 kilometers. During this period, the butterflies begin to descend into the forests at lower altitudes before they go to the north, where they will reap nectar from the flowers of parks, gardens, plains and endless forests. A trip to the butterflies near Val de Bravo. As early as March we arrived in Mexico City, the travel agent advised us not to choose El Rosario to see the monarch butterflies, four already most left forests in the area. So, on the morning of March 8th, the car opria. After two hours, at the entrance to the Federal Reserve Piedra Herada, located 25 kilometers away from the beautiful resort of Val de Bravo, a destination preferred by the inhabitants of the capital. In the center of Mexico, the pine forests of the mountains host the millions of monarch butterflies every winter, starting from the north of the United States in a fascinating migration, not fully understood by researchers gathered in giant clusters on the all-sinewy branches of the high forest. The butterflies wake up in the heat of the sun and pigment with orange the serene skies, then cover as a living blanket the bushes and herbs. At the end of February and early March, the lands west of the capital city of Mexico will say goodbye to colored guests, while receiving tens of thousands of tourists, eager to see how swarms gracefully knock their wings over them. During the climb on the mountain ridge, the local guide told us that butterflies live until March 15th in these forests with tall pine trees, feeding on their sap and hanging in high-rise orange bookcase, where they warm better, between themselves and under the sun. When the weather cools in the middle of winter, some die and fall on the loose soil, among the branches and dried leaves. We still didn't see anything, and the guide explained that there were only small portions of the forest where the butterflies were preparing for their journey to north. The beautiful and warm weather awakened them early in life and urged them to begin mating rituals, the female monarchs embarking on the road with the new generation in the womb. After 40 minutes of ascension, we find a resting stop, occupied by horses, guides, and tourists. For those who do not have enough physical resources, the locals provide powerful horses to bring visitors to the end of the path. From here, small groups spread through the trees, hunting the best places to find butterflies. 
In a few minutes, the bushes appear napadetied by the orange wings, and their graceful flight leaves from time to time streaks sound through the sunny clearing. At 20 to 30 feet above us, dark piles bend the pine branches, like huge natural hives. The guide draws our attention gently hitting the bark of a tree. Suddenly, above us descends a rain of butterflies, desirending a cluster and shining in the sun. The flapping of the wings covered our grievances. There are thousands and thousands of butterflies everywhere. They wake up, they move, more and more. You can only increment a sea and let them swarm, then sit on other branches or ascend over the forest. I spent some time in the silent admiration of this extraordinary spectacle, conducted daily in the fresh air of spring on these